Next alert forecast. As you're planning your week ahead, you may want the umbrella at times, especially as we get into the next couple of days. Tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning through Tuesday night, maybe even very early. We're talking pre sunrise hours on Wednesday morning are times that you're going to want the umbrella. And actually, this includes this evening, too, because we're tracking some rain showers moving through our area as we speak. You can see it's not super widespread, but there are some heavier places of rain right now. You can see in southwestern Allen County, there's this nice splotch of yellow and even some orange on that map. And far southwestern DeKalb County as well experiencing some more moderate rain intensity. This rain is just getting ready to move into the Summit City, so it's tracking from the southwest to the northeast, and that's going to be the general movement of our rain showers over the next several days. We can see out in Oklahoma, Texas, severe thunderstorm warnings, tornado warnings out there. This system is slowly going to work its way to the northeast. We're not expecting severe weather for us, but this is going to be the source of our rain showers as we get into the week. So sending the kids off to the bus stop in the morning you may want the umbrellas, may want a rain jacket. Isolated rain showers. We're talking hit and miss rain showers are possible. Temperatures at that time in the low 60s, and we'll continue to see off and on rain showers throughout the day on Monday as kids heading home from school three or four o'clock. Temperatures at that time will be in the low 70s. Future track shows the nature of it. Sometimes it's dry, sometimes it's wet. Places like Kendallville might experience a rain shower when places like Auburn is dry. So that's just going to be the case throughout the next 48 hours. You can see tomorrow morning you could be starting off the day with some soggy conditions. So the morning commute, you might want to plan on taking an extra minute or so because even light rain can make some slick spots on the roads, even though we're not talking about freezing temperatures. And then here's some more moderate rain intensity as we go towards lunchtime. But then you can see early afternoon was dry before we see a few more rain showers move in during the evening. It's just kind of going to be rinse and repeat. Election Day Tuesday. We've been talking about this since I believe Wednesday of last week about the potential for rain. Right now we could still see a few rain showers in the morning hours, but a large chunk of the day actually looks dry and it looks like the heaviest of the rain on Tuesday is going to hold off until after the election hours end. And then we've got that cold front pushing through late Tuesday night. Note that time about 8 p.m. And that's when we could see the heaviest of the rain and maybe a few rumbles of thunder overnight. But then we'll see drier conditions on Wednesday. How much rain are we talking over the next seven days area wide? It'll be relatively light, especially up until Tuesday afternoon. We're talking maybe half an inch at most across 21 country with the heaviest of the rain spanning from Chicago all the way down to Oklahoma and Arkansas. Some places in Missouri forecast over three inches of rain. Like I said, we're expecting dry conditions after that cold front moves through, but something you'll have to deal with is gusty winds up until that front moves through. Winds are expected to gust upwards of 35 to 40 miles per hour, both tomorrow and on Tuesday. Then you can see how drastically those winds drop off with the passage of that cold front. So election day forecast, you can see spotty rain showers on Tuesday. Temperatures though warm in the low to mid 70s in the afternoon. And like I said earlier, Temperatures aren't going to necessarily be consistent, but it's going to be warmer than average. We're in the low to mid 60s Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and that is well above where we're supposed to be for this time of year. All right, Caleb, well, I'll be sure to carry an umbrella. I don't usually, but I will for the next Smart couple move. days. Thank you. Next.